This is a practice problem video. In particular, we're working through one of the practice problems for context-preserving accumulators, and it's the skip n problem. So here we go. We're supposed to design a function that consumes a list of elements, lox, and the natural number n, and produces the list formed by including the first element of lox, then skips n elements, then includes an element and skips the next n, and so on. So for example, there's a call here where we have list a, b, c, d, e, f, and 2. So it includes a, because it includes the first element. Then it skips b and c, because it skips two elements. Then it includes d. Then it starts skipping, but of course it runs out of list before it gets to the next element to include. So this is a classic context-preserving accumulator problem because we need to keep track as we go through of how many more elements to skip before we include one. Right? We're going to include A, and then we need to know, gee, we still need to skip 2, we still need to skip 1, oh, now we include D, then we still need to skip 2, then we still need to skip 1, now we include the element that's after F, it isn't there actually, and so on. So I've given you a pretty good start on this problem. Why don't you take the problem at least up through the templating stage? the accumulator recipe templating stage. If you want to go beyond that, but at least go up to the template stage before you play the next video, which will pick up the problem solution from there.